hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is time for another unboxing video of the Firefly Cargo Crate by Quantum Mechanics. Um, if you've seen my other unboxing videos, then you know that this is a loot crate that Quantum Mechanics started doing that's specifically Firefly themed items. And this month's theme is actually Badger. This is the Badger box. Um, We've got it coming in from Eve's Down Docks. These boxes come once every other month. Um, they're super cool. They're full of collectible stuff that you can't get anywhere else. And if you want to order your own, which you totally should, head over to looted.by slash dk4tr um, to get $5 off with code uh, Actually, I think you just get $5 off with that. But if you don't, then use code FIREFLY10 and you'll get 10% off, which is basically the same amount. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. They've done almost all of the characters. The This is the second to last box, as far as I'm aware. Um, the next box is the Mal box, um, which will have completed out the whole crew. But we also got a couple other characters, like we got Serenity the ship herself. Um, and we got Yosef Bridge. Um, so, of course, they had to do the recurring character of Badger. Um, Mark Shepard is kind of a staple in sci-fi shows and movies. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's in this box. I usually like to guess. Um, I want to say they said that there would be a t-shirt. Mm, we're going to get the mini Cubit. We're going to get the mini Masters figure, which we get in every single box and is my favorite thing. Um, an enamel pin. And maybe some recipe involving apples because I feel like that's like Badger's thing. Um, but you're gonna find out at the same time that I find out, unless you got your box before me or um, you opened your box before watching this video or you watched somebody else's video, in which case you found out everything. So I'm gonna be surprised. That's what counts. <laughs> that's why I'm opening this box now. So. Oh yeah, again, these came from the Eve's Down Docks. We're gonna get the sticker of that. We always get the sticker of what's on it. And I'm not even going to look inside of it. I'm just gonna stick my hand in. I can feel the t-shirt. Should I pull the t-shirt out first? Yeah, I'm gonna pull the t-shirt out. I'm wearing the shirt from my Inara box, which there's not currently a video up as of me making this video right now because I opened it live at my panel at, um, Rhode Island Comic Con and have had a bunch of trouble trying to cut just that portion of the video from the panel to put on YouTube, but hopefully eventually there's a video of it, but right now there isn't. Um, anyway, this shirt was in the Inara box, and let's see Badger's shirt. It's a really soft, they're always made out of really soft material. All right, so it's got Badger on it and it says real crooks wear a suit and tie pretty nice I'm not super into shirts that have words on them um but that's cute oh no I don't love it um let's see this feels like maybe that feels like the challenge coin that we had another one but this feels like the cubit so the Cubits are kind of like Funko Pop figures, but smaller, and they're something that QMX does, and they're doing them for like a whole bunch of the crew. And a lot of people just like leave them in the boxes um, and don't open it because it's more of a collector's item that way, I guess, but that's stupid. Uh, and I'm gonna open it and see who I've got. Looks like I've got a little tiny Mel. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little tuft of hair. And he's wearing his brown coat. Of course, it's not in focus, but that's okay. Um, this is one of the series two cubits. They did two whole series, and in theory, they'll be releasing all of them um, eventually, so that you can order them, like, or at least order the cubit boxes online. Um, cause, it, cause, like, you want to collect all of them, right? I do. All right, let's see. That feels like paper. What is this? Oh, we've got a postcard. It is Planetary Mail from the Eaves Down Docks. That's a cool design. I'm very into this design. The verse is hub for artifacts and commerce. And you can see Serenity or a, fi a Firefly class ship. I'm not going to speak too soon and say it's Serenity. Um, it says Happy Voyaging Persephone on the back and it's got the blue sun logo. 
uh, for those of you big Firefly fans out there, you know that the Blue Sun, um, like, company or conglomerate or whatever, they had a huge plan um, that it was going to be, like, connected to all of the evil things. If you check in a bunch of episodes, you see Blue Sun, like, either in the background or, like, Jane has some shirts with it. Um, and one of the boxes had a Blue Sun shirt. Um, but that was, like, an overarching plan that Joss had. Um, this feels like a sticker. And it is. It is the Eve's Down Docks sticker um, with some Chinese characters at the bottom. Same one that's on the box. I never know what to do with these stickers. Sometimes I put them up on my wall. Um, like, don't stick them, but, like, cut out around the white part and then just, like, stick it up with, like, sticky tack. Let's see what... Because I'm so... I don't want to waste my stickers, you know? This is... Oh, 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 this is really cool. <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't even show you. It's Badger's Family Heirloom Flamingo Pin 1 to 1 Scale Replica. I guessed that they would put this in. Um, I totally knew that this was one of the things they were going to put in. This is fantastic for cosplayers because I know a ton of cosplayers, like, go through on uh, eBay just searching for flamingo pins that they then alter. So it's very cool to have a replica it's a cute it's a cute little like you know secret firefly thing that maybe not everybody would recognize but a real a real collector would know so far this is my favorite thing in the box um i love that that's hilarious and i feel like i totally guessed that the box would have that in it at one point not tonight didn't think of it tonight that's gonna be the mini masters figure this feels like well maybe maybe it's just the mini masters figure left I'm not looking I'm not looking I never look in the box until I'm done <laughs> um because I like to be surprised but this is the mini masters figure oh wow so I love these these are my favorite thing in every single box because they're little pvc figures um that if if anybody remembers back in the old days of collecting firefly merch the old aka like 10 years ago um they came out with the big damn heroes and the little damn heroes sets and a couple of those sets were never finished and a couple of those sets like you just can't find the action or the the figurines for it all um and so they kind of redid that with these mini masters figures um all of them are done by the same artist um and then the cool thing is if you want to keep it in the box you've got images of what it looks like on it so you have that as an option and I love how they, they always do the tops you can sort of see it they do a pattern or something on the top of it like on Kaylee's it had her floral pattern shirt on it oh and that's so cute and it's got the little flamingos that's very cute but yeah these are my favorite thing these are something that you you can't actually like you're not gonna be able to buy these and honestly this is what makes it worth this box to me because these are things that, like, I don't know, they make me feel like a real collector to have these. And they're beautiful, and they're really cool to own. Um, and if, like, if I wasn't as serious of a collector as I, if I didn't love Firefly as much as I did and I wanted to collect these, I would just sell everything else on eBay. But I want everything in these boxes, for the most part. Um, don't love the shirt this time, so I might give that away. Um, but these mini masters figures like i'm gonna have forever because they're super cool they're fun to pose and stage around if you look on instagram you can see people who pose them and i love this one this is one of my favorites i love he's got his little his little peeled apple um and he's got his crappy hat and his little his tie and his little like pocket square and his collarless shirt I love that these are super cool these are my favorite thing also to display because I think they're like one of the coolest items to have in a display um and I think they really you know they they captured his essence um he looks sleazy and I hope uh Mark Shepard is is proud of being a tiny little man a tiny little sleazy man with a mostly but not fully peeled apple not even cord did a, did a horrible job on that apple um yeah these are these are this is my favorite thing in most boxes but this has been 
this is this is this is cute. And I haven't seen that one. They released images because they brought all of the original crew as the Mini Masters figures to Toy Fair a couple of years back. Um, and so there were pictures of those and I had seen all of those, but the ones like this one and Yosef Bridge were not included in those. So it feels like we've just got our little magazine, The Signal. Um, these come in every single uh, loot crate and they give you more information. Um, I love this. It's got the, um, the picture of the man with the apple in front of his face, but it's badger. That's clever. Um, and it gives you a little hint about what is going to be in the next box. So this one says, in our next crate, we aim to, well, you already know what we're about to say. Get your hands on an exclusive Little Damn Heroes figure that likes it when you call it Sir and more. So the next box is the Mal box. They already released that. Um, so sign up before you lose your chance. Sign up to get in on this because everyone's going to want the Mal box. Um, and it's like the last one. And like you know you want that Mini Masters figure, obviously. Um, the wheel, so this is what it says in the front of this. The wheel never stops turning, but that doesn't matter to a man whose Gorham Den of Thieves is rooted right in the center. Badger only ever appeared in two episodes of Firefly, Serenity and Shindig, but Mark Shepard's brilliant performance made a definite impression. Badger fancies himself a businessman, which is true in a sense. The sense being that the business is crime. He's a fixer, a fence, a scoundrel with an apparent distaste for collared shirts and an affinity for flamingos. Plus, his accent is really cool. In this issue, we're celebrating the Cockney Kingpin of Crime with a recipe for mini pork pies, an English classic with our own special twist, quick cosplay guide, and some fun lessons on Badger's Mandarin phrases, and of course, thrilling cargo we've smuggled just for you. So in this, in this one, it tells you uh, the crate's theme. It shows you some pictures of people who have posted theirs with the hashtag cargo crate all over social media. Um, tells you how to do an easy Badger cosplay gives you a mini pork recipe, um, how to speak man Mandarin, and then our cargo. So it shows you everything that was in the box. So these are always really cute to see, um, like how people are setting up and using their things. These look like, a lot of these actually look like they're from the Simon box, um, including the Alliance Cruiser, which was a pain to put together, let me tell you. And then we've got casual cosplay, get a suit, Loose shirt, paisley tie is a must, accessorize, very fine hat, and the flamingo pin, um, and a light pocket square, and then finish up the face, so use light stubble. Um, then we've got our mini pork pies recipe. Someday I'm going to do all the recipes, all of, like almost all of them, if not all of them, have included a recipe, and I want to try like all of them. Um, I am disappointed that this does not involve apples, though. I feel like apples go with pork pie and apples are like such a badger thing and that would have been really easy. Um, yeah. And then we've got how to speak Mandarin, Pigu, which is the bottom, and Wungu Pi, smell the fart. Then it tells you everything that you've got in here. So we got the shirt, we got the mini masters figure, we got our family heirloom flamingo pin sticker, Malcolm Reynolds cubit, and the exclusive Eve Sound Docks wave card. And then on the back it says, "We love you." So I love these crates. I love getting them. I'm a little bit bummed that there's only one more, but it is the Mal box. So sign up right now. Again, that link for you to sign up is looted, L-O-O-T-E-D dot B-Y slash D-K-4-T-R. Um, I'm signing off. I hope you like this video. Give me a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing was, what you think of the boxes, and uh, tune in in a couple months for the next one. Stay shiny.